Right now, the De Pere and West De Pere school districts are dealing with an unusually high number of students battling cancer between the two districts. Social workers say there are at least nine students within the past year facing the diagnosis. Kristen Allen is in De Pere with what the districts are doing to help. Together, the De Pere and West De Pere school districts have a fund called Hands Across De Pere, and both of the school districts share this account. It has money in it to really help families with whatever financial burden they may be facing, and that includes cancer. And you may remember we told you about their annual fundraiser they have every year, which happens right as school is starting, and it really helps to be able to get some money in the account to be able to help with any crisis a family may be facing. And one of the students in the school district did battling cancer right now is eight-year-old Connor Phelan. He goes to Dickinson and here behind me, take a look and you can see this sign in his honor. It says Connor Strong. It's right outside of the playground here at Dickinson Elementary School. Connor is currently battling a type of brain cancer. He goes to again Dickinson Elementary School. He was diagnosed last May and he has not been in the school since then. His parents currently unable to work because he needs constant care and has regular appointments as well. And he is just one of those students. Another student 12 year old Hadley Baker has been battling a rare type of cancer for over a year. She's had multiple rounds of chemotherapy. Her family is currently hoping to get her into a clinical trial in Columbus, Ohio. And there's also Owen Obi in the West Appear School District. He's seven year old, seven years old and facing osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer. Social workers for the district are coming together using the hands across to peer account to help these families with whatever they need. A lot of times the parents aren't working because they can't work. They're constantly going to Children's Hospital or Mayo Clinic, wherever they have to have their treatments, so the parents aren't able to work. And the financial burden on these families is huge. And the social worker who you just heard from is also organizing a benefit with the family for Connor this weekend. A benefit in his honor is happening at the Stadium View Banquet Hall. It's from 11 to 3 on Sunday. There will be raffles, a meat raffle, and also silent auctions as well to help the family relieve some of that financial burden. Reporting in De Pere, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News.